let's discuss boot order variables. Uh, FE load option data structure describes format uh, of UFI boot option variables. As we can see in the top structure from MDA package UFI spec header, um, the structure is, is byte packet buffer of variable length fields. Uh, the first two fields are uh, attributes and five path list length. Uh, those are those those have uh, fixed length. They are declared as a members of EFI load option structure, and uh, all other fields are variab variable length fields. So let's discuss uh, those fields for how those are used. So first, attributes describe various behavior for load options. For example, the attributes can activate or inactivate given load option. For drivers, the attributes may lead to overriding previously loaded driver or attributes may also create groups of load options, uh, which then help in grouping similar options. Um, one example of that can be load option, which are part of normal boot process or those which can be chosen, chosen optionally, for example, by uh, hotkeys. Then we have five path list length is just a length uh, in bytes. Then we have description, which is human readable string, uh, which is uh, null terminated. Then we have file path list. This is array of structures describing location of UFI image for a given load option. Uh, it uses FE device path protocol to describe the path to the image. And finally, there is optional data, which is just the binary data buffer, which is passed to the loaded image. Uh, if we look at the FE device path protocol, what we can say about it is that it can be used uh, on a device handle to obtain generic path location. Th those are information which are related either to physical device or log logical device. Uh, but the, the key point of that structure is this is help to describe where physically or logically in, um, in the system given device um, is. So it contains three fields. First is type, uh, which can be either hardware, it can be a CPI a type of uh, device path. It can be media uh, uh, device path. It can be uh, BIOS boot specification path or it can also be a special type which this determine that this is for example end of device path the subtype highly depends on the type and length length is self explanatory uh, and just contain the length of the of the structure so let's try to decode uh, the boot option um, used in in our exercises first of all um, let's start with the hex dump of, of the boot option. At the beginning, we can see there are UFI variable attributes. Uh, seven uh, means four plus two plus one. So it means uh, that the variable is non-volatile, runtime accessible, accessible, and of course it have to be uh, boot time accessible because runtime requires also setting up boot time uh, access. Then we have load option load option attribute. Uh, in this case, we see it's one, and one means that the option is active. Uh, then we have a uh, file path uh, list length, and uh, then we see there is a, there is a UTF-16 la label for the next two lines, uh, which is null terminated. This is our description, uh, which is human readable. We can read it on, on the right that this is, there is EFI internal shell here. Then next uh, we got our uh, file path list, which contains array of EFI device path protocol structures. Uh, each uh, EFI device protocol path device path protocol start with uh, with the type. In this case, it is uh, four, which is which means media device path. And subtype of, of it is a firmware volume, which is seven. And the length of that is uh, hex 14. And then we got uh, the GUI of the firmware volume. In this case, it is uh, Dixie, uh, Dixie firmware volume, which we already checked in uh, previous exercises. After that structure, we have next EFI device path protocol structure with type media device path. Uh, but now the subtype is six. Six means uh, firmware file. And of course we have a length 
uh, and for the firmware file uh, su subtype uh, we have uh, GUID of our shell application file. And finally we have a special type of EFI device path protocol which is uh, 7F and 7F means this is end of entire device path um, so it, it just indicates that there is there is no further um, components in our file path list RI. And let's try to decompose other two UFI variables which are very common in every UFI implementation. So here we see a boot order uh, variable file uh, which we just hex dumped and we see the same situation with uh, variable attribute uh, that it contains uh, non-volatile runtime and uh, boot time access. That's normal thing for the boot order because we have we would like to access that both from the operating system to change boot order and also from the boot process BDS level so we can read the boot order or change the boot order uh, even from BIOS, BIOS menu. And the next components of this variable are uh, very simple because those are just numbers. There is first position in boot order, second position in boot order, third position and fourth position. Of course, if we would change uh, our boot order, we may have situation that on the first position we have a third option and that's, that's how the boot order uh, works. The boot order describes which of the boot options defined in uh, previously described uh, boot variable uh, should be first, second or, or third or fourth. And of course, boot order is consumed by boot manager uh, during the uh, boot process. There is other interesting variable called timeout. Uh, this variable just tells us how long system waits for uh, entering the uh, boot menu and in this case there is no wait there is just immediately execution of the boot process uh, because the value of, of this timeout is zero. As you can see both values are regular UFI variables those are not authenticated variables so those are unprotected and most most operating system provide ready to use tools to uh, manipulate those variables.